Carolyn Coolen, Editorial Director of Imaging Technology News Magazine. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina for the 2012 meeting of the AAPM, and I'm with Dr. Gary Azell, who is the president of AAPM this year. And Dr. Azell, would you mind sharing with us some of your thoughts about uh, what the current trends are in medical physics? Well, in, in America, medical physics really is uh, the, the melding of medical imaging with radiation therapy. And traditionally, over the past many decades, those have been two rather separate disciplines. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's been happening over the last several years is that these are coming together. Because radiation therapy is using imaging more and more, both to define what needs to be treated and actually to guide treatments. And so coming, the coming together of imaging and therapy is probably the single most dominant uh, thing that's been going on in our field over the past several years. And as far as this meeting goes, what are the hot topics that are being addressed here? Well, I think mainly in the imaging side especially, one of the primary things that's been going on is that the imaging is becoming more quantitative. Mm -hmm. That as well as physicians being able to look at images to make diagnoses based on what they see simply, that those images are becoming more quantitative and analyzed in numerical ways. In, f in ways that actually give the doctors more information about the patient than they would get simply by looking at the picture. So that is really one of the, the primary ways that physicists with their skills in numerical analysis are being able to help physicians use these images in ways that better help the patients. It's an exciting time. And then as far as AAPM goes, can you tell us a little bit about what the major initiatives are for the uh, association and what you see coming up next year? Well, one of the primary things that's been going on for us as a profession is that we are maturing as a profession. Uh, over the past few years, for example, uh, there's a, a, a stronger uh, emphasis on medical physicists becoming board certified in the same fashion that the radiation oncologists and radiologists are. We're actually board certified by the same medical specialty board. And that is becoming a requirement. Uh, in, order, in order to become board certified, we're going through residencies in the same way that physicians are. Because the field has simply gotten to be so complicated that on-the-job training isn't sufficient anymore. And so that is an important thing. The other thing is that we are writing medical physics practice guidelines uh, to help define the standards of practice in the field, which is good for not only practitioners, but also regulators, because we are becoming more and more under the scrutiny of regulation because people are concerned about safety, and regulators need to understand what are the standards by which this profession should be judged. And so we're helping to write those standards now so that everyone is judged according to an equal playing field, and that's appropriate for patient care. Sounds like important work. So, so Patient safety is, is really a, an important effort for us. Uh, writing guidelines, establishing residencies so that physicists are, are trained in a uniform way and in sufficient way. And, and also uh, developing standard operating procedures and better ways of sharing information nationally among all the physicists so that we simply learn from each other in a more efficient way. Very interesting. And if somebody wanted more information about the association? AAPM.org on the web. Thank you very much. You're welcome.